Hello, hello. I am back to help you do this thing called life. So we are in a little study about the humanity of Jesus, talking about his emotions, his temptations, all that stuff. And um, so today we are in John 2, I want to say it's 13 through 17 or something like that. And um, this is John's account of when Jesus went into the temple and was running out the money changers. And so right off the bat, <laughs> yeah, the emotion that we're going to talk about is anger. And the Bible says, be angry and sin not. Um, so anger is an emotion that we can have. There are certain things that we should be angry about. Um, injustice, when people are oppressed, that should anger us because that's not the way of God. But we have to be angry and sin not. And so we look at Jesus being like a real G. He had had enough. <laughs> Jesus had had enough. Because the people were taking advantage. The ones that he was running out of the thing. It's not that they were doing things the right way. Because people sometimes bought the things to sacrifice. But they were cheating the people. Robbing the people. They just weren't doing right. And Jesus was sick of it. And John, his account says, Jesus braided up that whip and got to swinging. <laughs> now, I did say he hit anybody. Um... There were animals that he was running out also. But man, if you had a mama or a daddy that could come in the room with that belt, what? They did not have to hit you in order to get a reaction. You would get to moving. So Jesus was like, enough is enough. And he ran him out of there. He was like, you made my father's house a den of thieves. It's time for you to go. We ain't having this no more. And there have to be some things in our lives that we get to the point where like, I'm not having this no more. Like there has to come a time when you're willing to stand up for something or somebody because there is injustice all around us. There are people being oppressed and taken advantage of all around us. And sometimes you only move when you get to a, a point of anger. Sometimes you only stand up for yourself when you get to a point of anger. Um, sometimes we only change. When we get angry enough at ourselves for what we've allowed. So, like the word says, be angry, but sin not. Jesus was going to cut some tail that day. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He didn't have to. And this isn't the only time we saw him angry either. Because, oh, he would, he would tell those Pharisees and scribes, oh, he'd get with them. So, it's just a way to do it. It's a time to do it. It's a place to do it. Be angry and sin not though, okay? Anyway, y'all, we're going to keep on going through this little thing. We're going we're gonna to see Jesus the man. We're going to see Jay, our big brother, how he handled things, okay? This has been One More Minute with Marcy. I'll be back tomorrow with another moment of momentum producing motivation. Until then, oh, I forgot to tell y'all too. That's when the disciples... Um, said that they remembered that it, it was written that um, zeal for the house of God had consumed his life. And so, yeah, there should be something that consumes us, something that makes us ready to move. All right. This has been One Moment with Marcy. I'll be back tomorrow with another moment of momentum producing motivation. Until then, stay encouraged. And remember, you got to flutter before you can fly. But flying is in your future.